Hello, this is Cryptic Mac Genius, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use QuickTime to do a screencast like this, or a screen recording, um, how to do an audio recording, and how to do a video record. So, of course, I can't show you how to do a screen record because I am using it to record this. But all you do is open up i uh, uh yeah open up QuickTime or you'd go to your applications and open QuickTime in there and once it's open it won't pop up any windows it'll just have QuickTime up here so to start a new cast <clears throat> sorry to start a new recording you hit file and you can go, do new movie recording, new audio recording, or new screen recording. Which uh, screen is what I'm doing now. So it is grayed out, so I cannot do it. Uh, well, I cannot show you <clears throat> what all it does. But essentially, when you click on that, it pops up a box that has a record button in the center. And a little volume slider and a bar when you talk that bar will flex and it shows uh, how loud it is so you can adjust your volume so it doesn't give you feedback and echo and stuff like that and then you hit the record button another window pops up and <clears throat> says to stop the vi to stop the recording to click this button right there and to uh, and then it has a button that hit, says uh, click here to, or start you know screen recording but anyways so I can show you a new movie recording so we'll click that how uh, loud the mic input is and anyways um, this button right here on the screen recording it's in a different location it the screen recording, it's basically just this box. That's it. Not this whole window. But if you click the down arrow, uh, you can choose your camera. If you have a, a plug-in USB camera, you can switch to that. Uh, here you have your line in. So if you have a pluggable microphone, you can use it or the internal, like I have checked on mine. And then you can change the quality of your video <clears throat> to max, medium, or low, and choose where to save it. So, to start a video recording, you just hit the record button, and now it's recording. And you can see right here the uh, megabytes just ticking away as it records, and it shows you the time here. The only thing the screen recording doesn't show is the current amount of time and it's a pain in the butt so that's the only thing I've found using this as a downside so we'll go ahead and stop that and when you hit stop with the screencast and the video cast as you just saw it popped up the movie I just made and now it's recording it and anyways but with the screencast as soon as you hit stop it'll pop up what you just made and you can watch it or just go ahead and close it because it's already saved to the movies folder and to access the movies folder you open you can click on the background and go to new finder window or you can click on the finder icon to open up a new window and you go to movies that's it um Oops, we're done. Anyways, we'll go ahead and do a new audio. And, okay, this is almost what the screen recording one looks like. See this little sliding bar? If you turn it up, you can hear me echo and get feedback. And, yeah, it's quite nasty. But, <clears throat> again, the arrow, you can change where your mic input comes from and the quality and you just hit record and there it's recording 
stop, and then you can hit play. And their turn. Anyways, so once you have uh, we'll use screen uh, recording as an example. Once you have that uh, recorded, what you want to do, if it's a YouTube video, and you're not going to edit it with iMovie or what have you, you have to uh, run the movie through a program because for some reason the audio of the screen recordings is not recognized by YouTube. So you will you get a video made, upload it, and then find out the video doesn't have any audio on it. And then you'd have to delete it and re-upload a different version because of the audio. So this is a quick workaround. You open up your applications and download Handbrake. Just Google Handbrake. It's the first result most of the time and download it. <clears throat> um, I'll put a link in the uh, uh, underbar to where you can download this. Download it and insta uh, install it and when you get done making your video of uh, whatever open it up and this will pop up. So you find the video that you're making, uh, we'll go ahead and use this one for instance, and basically just go through and find out which screen recording you uh, just made or what have you. Once you get the one you want to upload to YouTube, hit open, and it'll set everything up. Now all you do is click the start button right there and click it and it'll start ticking away down here it's making one single pass and basically all this is doing is um, it's going to restructure your audio file into a different format so YouTube can understand it and process it correctly this uh, depending on the length of the video since it's only up to 15 minutes um, for YouTube videos. For my computer, it can take a little while because mine's a, a 2007, you know, it's a little old now. But it still only takes eh, roughly five minutes for about seven minute video because it's not doing anything very intensive. It's just as you can see here it's ticking down 31 minutes and 12 seconds being so long is because I'm doing this screencast so we'll go ahead and uh, just stop this but oh before I stop it as soon as you hit start as you can see here this file that's being created that this uh, program handbrake is creating this file as you can see here it's going user, cryptic OS, desktop, and uh, the name. And right here you can name it whatever you want uh, before you hit start. So over here it's already named. I never worry about it. I can, all you have to do to rename it is press enter when it's selected and just rename it. But make sure you only rename it after the file is done uh, rendering and encoding. Um, so we'll go ahead and stop this because it's going to take a while. So, uh, when it's done, it'll make a sound and this will pop, you know, bounce up and down down there. And it'll just say video has been successfully encoded. So we'll go ahead and close that. And that's the video. So there's the video we just I just encoded. And to rename it, just hit enter while it's selected or blue and rename it whatever you want. Uh I do believe that's all I have for today.
Have a good evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. Have a good one.